All right, how you guys doing? Happy Wednesday. I'm Marshall Onoroff, editor for Tom's Guide. Today we are here streaming Mega Man X Legacy Collection, Volumes 1 and 2. With me, I've got... Sheree L. Smith, editor of Tom's Guide and Laptop Mag. Rami Tabari, writer for Laptop Mag and Tom's Guide. Now, guys, I am super excited about this game. Sheree, you know that when we were at E3, I was so excited to get my hands on this for the first time. And I spent all weekend going through more games than I care to admit. <laughs> In the first Mega Man collection, you got X1 through 4. The second, you got X5 through 8. Let's start off with something from the first collection. What do you guys want to see? Uh, spin the wheel, dude. Spin the wheel. <laughs> all right. How about some uh, X2 action here? X2 is a very underrated game, but this was my very first Mega Man game. My grandmother got it for me for Hanukkah when I was six or so. Six? Yeah. You're so freaking young. <laughs> <laughs> Not as young as the one behind us, I'm afraid of. No, <laughs> like all the Similek around me, it's just like, dear God. So have you guys played the Mega Man X series before? Because this is one of my all-time favorites, but I find that a lot of people have really only played, uh, you know, the original Mega Man, the, the old, old school NES Mega Man. But I, I think this is as good as it gets. The platforming is great. The graphics are beautiful. Uh, and look at these filters when they start coming in here. Like, that looks nice. I've uh, basically never played a Mega Man game in my life, so um, I've tried it once. But I never, never really. So I don't, I don't even know what Mega Man is. Exactly. Well, uh, how do you explain? What is Mega Man X? <laughs> is a Reploid. He is an android. He's a robot who can think and feel for himself. Okay. And he is fighting against. Look at that wall jump! Oh Ooh, snap! Oh! Oh! That was oh. very bad. I'm actually getting a little bit of lag here. Is this up on a screen, or how am I getting lag? Yeah, because, like, this is... I mean, this is not a series that is conducive to lag, I will say that. It much. is not. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Yes. Yeah, that, that doesn't get any easier 20 years on. That, like, what I appreciate about any Mega Man game is that it does not hold your hand. Like, this, <laughs> like, it, like, you... You either learned and adapted, or you just kept dying and didn't progress. I don't know if anyone can see this, but just to get by in this game, you have to contort your finger. and It's called the crooked finger technique. Oh, yeah, because yeah, Because you have to be able yeah. to dash and charge at the same time. <laughs> Wait, and, so what uh, buttons are you clicking exactly? I'm clicking the uh, circle Wait, button to dash and the uh, nice. square button to charge my weapon. Wait, can you not change the inputs? Oh, you absolutely can. I just always forget to. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, at least there's that. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would uh, change that immediately. You wouldn't caught. You wouldn't catch me dead with my fingers like that. That's what she said. Oh, all right. Oh, jeez, oh, <laughs> right. oh, I'm sorry about that. I no, was, I don't be on, sorry. I was sort of an autopilot there. <laughs> like, <laughs> let it never be said that Sheree L. Smith has ever turned down a good. That's what she said joke. <laughs> you know, I don't object to that's what she said out of any reason except that it's ancient. That joke is from the 1920s and people still think it's funny. It is still funny! <laughs> right. I'm actually really glad that they did come out with uh, collections like this because uh, I've always been interested oh. solely because it is, it doesn't hold your hand, like Sheree said. So, because um, I did play the first one on the Xbox, like X collection, yeah. Oh, oh, the Mega Man Legacy collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the very first Mega Man, I just got wrecked. Like, the first level, I was like, oh, well, you know what? <laughs> this ain't <laughs> for gonna, me! Yeah, basically, I just got destroyed, and I was like... Quitter. May, maybe someday, but not right oh, now. No, that's, that's not gonna work. Quitter. Listen, I've, I've played through all of the Dark Souls games. Like, Ed? Dealt, I've dealt Ed, with Ed, have you done this? Have I, you have you played this not stuff? Not yet, but I can. Oh, okay. I, if well, I put I would, my mind to it, I could. Word. That's what they tell these kids nowadays. Anything you put your mind to, you can do. I mean, Dark Souls is one thing, but here's the thing about Dark Souls, and I, I say this as someone who also loves the Souls series, there are ways to mitigate Dark Souls challenge. You can always improve your equipment or level up your abilities, or even just kind of bang your head against the wall until you get a few lucky breaks. That's fair. There is nothing like that in, in Mega Man. It is really just about you and your skills and how well you learn what the game can throw at you. Well, I mean, still, Dark Souls is very much about that as well, but I, I do see what you mean, because there's a lot more to factor in Ooh. with Dark Souls, so you can get very lucky. Yes. I. By the way, I, I love Dark Souls, like I said. I am not at all above admitting that I won some Dark Souls levels because I got a couple lucky breaks on a boss fight, and anyone who says different 
is lying. probably lying. <laughs> oh, this dude. Which boss is this? This is Violin. He's weak to Bubble Splash. Believe it or not. This guy. This, this is on the Switch chain. too, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Switch. This, uh, oh, it is on the Switch? And like, yep. I find myself using the Switch more and more. Cause Seems dear, like the perfect game. Because, dear God, I am so deep in Octopath Traveler right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this I'm, is not as going as well as I hoped it might. Speaking of which, stay tuned Yikes. for that uh, write-up. Not a review per se, but just my personal... Oh. Oof. My personal thoughts on the game, yes. as I am about 40 hours in and still playing. So briefly, while I have the opportunity, uh, the game doesn't come with a whole lot of frills, but you can do a couple different filters. You can leave it as it is, it's just total original flavor. Or you can do CRT scan lines, which... That's cool. <laughs> Wait, what was the first filter? Uh, the first filter was that there is no filter, just as it is on a modern day TV. And then what was the last filter? Uh, the last filter was the one Give I usually you that use. That pixels. The pixels. Oh, All right, this is my last life, so if I, if I can't do it here, it's not gonna work out well. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. You know, I'll, I'll admit it, I'm not very great at platformers either, so this, uh, Game would be just painful for me. It's definitely my weak point in terms of difficulty. I'm very bad at that. It, it definitely has a learning curve. Yep. There we go. <laughs> what? How could you have overloaded my circuits? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I too want story time with Marshall <laughs> on Raw. When I was growing up, we didn't have voice acting in games. You kind of had to make your own. Yeah, so. you do. <laughs> But they were always in my head. <laughs> nah. Well, hold on. He's gonna do a cool victory pose. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the PS4 crashes. All right. We got a lot of games to go through. Would anyone object if I went over to X4? Nah, do, my do it. X do it. All right. Game, uh, well, similar to this. Oh, style, look. Rock rolling. <laughs> X. I did play, uh... Shovel Knight all the way through, and that was pretty painful. Shovel Knight's pretty tough. That, yeah. That's not a, that is a serious game. Yeah, that was kind of my first, like, painful platformer like this, and so I'm just gonna... All right, so so you... refresh my memory. When, when you came out, when you were old enough to start playing games, which, which Mario was out for you? <laughs> Mario 64. That's okay. okay. All right. That, that's what I played. That makes sense. Incidentally, you like no, I need to. I just need a game. <laughs> I need a reference. Like which Mario was your yeah, the, Mario? The Nintendo sixty four like every era was mine basically. Okay, that's that's right. Um, before I stopped messing with Nintendo for a while. <laughs> I think my first, well, the one that convinced me to get a video game system was the original Super Mario Brothers at my aunt's house. But my first Mario that I played all the way through was definitely Super Mario World on the SNES. This looks really nice. This was... what? Woo! <laughs> it was almost bad. This is Mega Man X4, so this was the first one for the PlayStation. Okay. It was also the first one where you get to play as Zero. Zero. Yeah. I, Zero is, if I had to pick just one, probably my favorite video game character. So who is Zero? Explain to the, me and the people who don't know Mega Man. Okay, Meeting. so Rami was... Just you. <laughs> just yeah, just me. Just me. <laughs> no, no, it gets convoluted. Rami was asking about this earlier, and, and he Ooh. deserves an explanation, and, and so does everyone else. Uh... So Mega Man is a lot of different series, but there are basically four different series that all tie together. Bear with me. There is uh, the original Mega Man. That's the cute Astro Boy kind of robot uh, made by Dr. Light to fight the evil robots. Great. You know, it's good and evil, what have you. Mega Man X takes place 100 years later. Dr. Light, right, right before he died, made this thinking, feeling android called Mega Man X and sealed him away in the desert until his... Uh, so he uh, could complete self-diagnostics. Let's use another one of these filters here. Ronnie, this is what you're asking about. This is with no filter at all. Ah, okay. So nice and pixelated. Um, so Mega Man X emerges in a very, very different world where robots can think and feel and live alongside humans, but some of them are infected by a virus that causes them to turn evil or go maverick. And the leader of these mavericks is called Sigma. So X and Zero are maverick hunters, and they fight against Sigma over and over and over again so far, I think about 11 times. Okay. If there's an X9, it'll be more. 
So this is one of the last so stages. So zero and X are like best friends, kind of. Oh, at, uh, or... depends on what fanfic <laughs> author you ask. But <laughs> let, let, right. let, let's say, let's say they're best friends. Okay. They're partners. That's the idea. The, yes, uh, in either sense of the word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, all right. What beef do they have with each other then? If there's if they're not. Uh, you know, partners or... I'm, gl I'm glad you asked, so... Uh... <laughs> Hit me with that lore, please. All right, here's the lore. Uh, X, after about three games, realizes that they keep fighting Sigma over and over, but the world never seems to get any better. And he says, you know what? I wonder if violence is maybe not the way. And Zero says, that's ridiculous talk. Uh, the only way to fight evil is to just get in there and fight it and kill them all. Ah. And that's sort of their... So uh, that's a... That's, that's pretty interesting. I always liked, like, the differing ideals between heroes and certain stories. Yep. X fights because he has to, Zero fights because he wants. Which is why Zero is... Pretty cool. Which is why Zero was my favorite when I was 15, and, you know, he's still every... He, he, like, yeah, yeah, he's definitely the cooler guy. Like, I already oh, can tell. Like, I he's... mean, look at that hair. It's, <laughs> it's panty and approved. <laughs> he's, he's such a bad boy because he has long, blonde hair. <laughs> what? So... Those are two series you already explained. Yes. What are the other two, dare I ask? So, <laughs> after dying and coming back to life a couple of times, okay. uh, Zero decides that he's not really needed to defend the world anymore, so as one of the alternate endings in Mega Man X6, Yikes. Uh, okay. he decides to lock himself away for another hundred years until there's a new threat. He awakens a hundred years later in Mega Man Zero oh, okay. uh, for the Game Boy Advance. I mean, but you're, like, bruh, you assume you're not going to be obsolete in a hundred years, but I, cool, well, cool, 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 Luckily, he's not, because in the intervening hundred video years, game because logic. video game logic, <laughs> and also because when he wakes up, X has gone maverick. X is now evil. Oh, and, wow. And there's only one person who can fight X, and that's, of course, his best friend in the whole world. Okay. So that's, so then you, so you have the X series, the regular Mega Man series, then you have the, I guess... Uh, Zero's own spin-off yep. series, and then what's the last one? So a hundred years after that. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hundred years in the future. Look, don't blame blame Capcom, not me. Okay, I didn't make this up. A hundred years after that, uh, X and Zero exist only as data, and they are trying to train the new generation of hunters. And this time they merge with humans, uh, who can carry robot data inside of them, and it's called Mega Man ZX, and, uh, two hunters, is it Benton? Yeah, Benton Ale are in the first game. So, um... And then Gray and Ash in the second. Not to get graphic, but <laughs> how <laughs> Do are they folks, merge? how are folks merging with the robots? The data enters their body. It looks, it, it all looks very PG. <laughs> It's all good till a sex bot chokes, chokes a senator. <laughs> all good. Well, I mean, no one's perfect. I mean, but... I'm the best response for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. Anyway. I don't think Back ever... to... What was the last... What was the... Oh, ZX. ZX. Yeah, ZX? unfortunately, that's as far as the... Yeah. anything on that. Like, I've seen the other ones. Glimpses, like... How popular is ZX? It not as popular as it should have been. It was a Metroidvania on the DS, and it was okay. actually really, really good. Like okay. Mega Man just works as a Metroidvania. Like number one, I love a Metroidvania, but don't don't make it seem like that th that uh, storyline should have been popular. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it was bad, essentially, is what I'm is, is what I'm hearing. Hey, it, it was quite deep because the the bad guy was. I named, bet it was deep. The bad guy. Was, All right. The bad guy was. Named, uh, <laughs> That guy was named General Serpent, so you know it's deep. Okay. <laughs> All right. So is that like the black sheep of the Mega Man? Lord family? Jesus! Um, is, is that is that what I'm is that what I'm hearing? I don't know. It's. So I it's I liked it. It's not one of the better ones. Whoa! What's going on here? I don't remember this attack. I mean, it depends who you ask, right? I thought it was great. And I think a lot of other people thought it was great, but also by that time people were getting kind of tired of the Mega Man series. I'm tired enough that we still are buying <laughs> remasters and collections. You no, know, that was the easy way. And I assume that game isn't on any of the collections. Uh, ZX? No, but there hasn't been a. There's only two games, so okay. I don't know if it would marry its own collection. 
Anyway, I just love playing the Zero. If you guys want to see something else, please do let me know. Do you have any questions or anything in the chat? Anyone's monitoring that? I don't think so yet. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep fighting the bosses then until someone tells me to stop. <laughs> yeah, we got some time. I, I do want to show you guys two of the later games as well. Yeah, do it. Do it. Okay. So one of them is Mega Man X7, which is, in not just my opinion, but you're talking about Black Sheep as a series. So X7, they tried to go 3D. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot all about doesn't. that. Did you ever try that, Shereen? No, because I didn't want it. Like you, you were correct to not want it. Like 3D side scrolling or No, like 3D 3D. X8 Ooh. is 3D side scrolling, and that actually works pretty well. But, uh... Wait, so we have that one on here? Oh, abso one? absolutely. Can I see it? I wanna see this. <laughs> I wanna see this. Alright, well, since you asked nicely, I can't say no to that. <laughs> Can I see it? So, like I said, the game is uh, the two games the two Sets of games split up into two different collections, Mega Man X Legacy Collection Volume 1, Volume 2. Each one $20, each has four games. If you're gonna buy just one, do Volume 1. One through four are all classics. I, I just don't have a bad word to say about any of them. X5 gets a little convoluted. X6 is uh, not great. I mean... But then there's X7. You, 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 we're sitting here talking plot lines <laughs> like we're in Metal Gear right now. <laughs> which I... I mm. Sounds right. a lot simpler than Metal Gear, to be honest. I'm gonna skip ahead through all the uh, intros and things, so unless you guys really want to see some bad cutscenes. I mean, I would like to see a bad cutscene. Let's see sure. a bad cutscene. Yeah. I'd refresh my memory. <laughs> Fulfill the series desire. This is not as bad as the X4 cutscenes. Granted, that was the, if you've ever seen the memes of Mega Man X, that X4 is the one where they come from. With Iris, Iris, what am I fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll. So you might notice that the first mistake this game makes is that it's not actually about X and Zero. It's about these two people no one's ever heard of named Red and Axel. And Axel is going to be the first playable character in this game. Oh, X okay. is an unlockable character who doesn't want to fight, and you have to coach Red him out of alert. it. Red alert. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh. See, it's, it's funny because his name is Red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like... The X series seems a lot edgier. Then. Like, I, I'm expecting someone to say, watch out, you almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> That's how bad these cutscenes are. If I can bring up a point of order, <laughs> why would they program a robot that needs a cane? Why would you program a robot that acts like a mob boss? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have free will, you know? If he wants to wear that terrible hat, he has free will to do it. And, and that's what sets him apart. How from does a robot wear a hat? Uh, is it not bolted onto its head? Is it not made that way? If you want an even better question, so there are three unlockable female characters in Mega Man X8, and if you beat the X Challenge, oh, I gotta show the X Challenge mode, I almost forgot. Uh, that's the brand new mode for the X Collection. Anyway, if you beat X Challenge in normal mode, you get an unlockable wallpaper of the three of them wearing swimsuits, which raises a lot of questions, right? Uh. Like how, do ro how do robots wear swimsuits? Why? Why do robots wear swimsuits? We already know that X and Zero and Axel can go underwater, so they don't have to wear swimsuits. See, that's that's not video game logic. That's just anime logic <laughs> at that point. Oh. Why is there a dinosaur tank? <laughs> like, what is going on? As George pointed out, one of the levels in X2 is a dinosaur tank. And also, they have rebuilt dinosaurs sometime in the 22nd century. I think this actually has voice acting. Rebuilt? What? Hey? Well, one of the bosses is, is a T-Rex, because, I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Okay. I'm going to jump past all the exposition. Yes, just please. Cause that... I, I'm very curious to see what this gameplay is like. <laughs> you're going to be disappointed. No matter what you think, you're <laughs> going to be disappointed. So here's Axel, a character oh, you never played as before. Oh, no. no a security laser, no problem. Attack when it locks on. So is this not just side-scrolling 3D? Or? Um, I don't understand. Some of the levels are, and those parts are okay. I actually have no huge... Aside from it looking bad, I have no big complaints about this part. Oh, except that you can't actually lock onto anything. Wait, it just so automatically what, what, locks on. what other like levels do you complain about that's not the side scrolling 3D parts? Like, how is you, it? Styled? You are about to find out. Okay. You just gotta give me a minute to get past All it. Alright. Oh, what, what am I concerned? Uh oh. Oh, I can't even skip past the dialogue. Oh. You'll have to take the main Great. security laser. Use hover. Pre oh, push and hold X. Okay. Because in later games, you have to tap X. Yeah, it definitely looks pretty gross. Like, compared to, like, the last game we just played, which looked really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, all the side-scrolling ones look really cool. And, uh, went, thankfully, in X8, they went back to the side-scrolling, and it also looks nice. 
But here, here you go. He wants some awful All right, early two thousand three D. Nope. 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 It just locks on of automatically. Of course you can't. Why would you? I mean, why, why <laughs> would you want to lock on? Who would ever to lock on in a 3D yeah. game? Especially when they're lobbing projectiles at you. For who could ever love a beast? <laughs> <laughs> what is... You know, this yeah. reminds me of, like, the bad camera angles in Sonic Adventure 2. You can't actually change the camera angles, by the way. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is it. This what is basically is this? the same thing. Oh, and you can roll course. very slowly. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, help. Okay, good. This... I... Mm. Alright, you can you can put this thing to rest if you want. Like, are, we, are we done with this? I, I'm satisfied. I, I feel yeah. like I'm done with this. I'm satisfied. Okay. Good. I, I know good. what it looks like now. I don't like it. Yikes. It makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> it's a, so a lot of people, and here's one reason why I think this might be a, a good collection ultimately. A lot of people checked out in X7 because it was bad and never checked out X8. X8 is actually good. It's got the character switching system. You can take two characters of the three into every level. You can unlock three brand new characters. It's got currency that you can use to buy upgrades. It's two and a half D, all side scrolling. Mega Man, X8. Don't mind the narrator. I'm, it's, it's really is good. <laughs> I'm just, it's a better cutscene. Oh, there's actual like difficulties. Like, yeah, I just noticed because the first the co first couple didn't have. I assume. Cause, no, because hard. Yeah, because hard. It's just yeah. always set to hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I'm gonna skip past the. What do you, uh, what do you usually here. play on? Like, I assume like when you get Mega Man 11, what are you gonna play on? What difficulty are you gonna set it on when you first get it? Uh, first playthrough of anything is normal. That's just my personal philosophy. Really? Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I usually go for hard on anything I play because I, I just want to play it once and then be done with it. I don't want to experience it again. Um, but I'm interested to see how. It's so you don't play any games over? Uh, I mean, me? like. Oh no, Robin. I, I like playing it on hard because it, it just gives me the most challenge at, out of what I've, like, received. Like, that ever since I started playing Dark Souls, that's what I, it's been my philosophy. Just play it on hard, and so I get the hell beat out of me and then, you know, succeed eventually. See, I, I don't love the way every game handles hard mode, though, because it's often just more HP, more resistance. No, yeah, so it's very the same true. Game, Sometimes longer. it's just, like, bullet sponges, yeah. and it's very annoying. Like... That's something that Destiny suffers from. It's just bullet sponge the game, basically. It's like, you, they just eat bullets until you win. Like, that's that's basically it. And a lot of games don't handle it very well. But, I mean, I usually go for that, and if, if there's something wrong with the difficulty, like what you mentioned, then I usually, it's like, alright, play it on normal so I can actually have fun with it. Instead of just dying over and over again. I always say start on normal and then adjust accordingly. Yeah, I agree. I, hmm, I don't know. I just like because depending on the game, like I might not come back, but at least I got to play through. Like there are games that I play no matter what. Like I will always play uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Always. Like mm -hmm. oh word. <laughs> like no, it doesn't matter. That I've played it. Oh god. Okay. I've played it at least twenty times. And got a hundred and whatever the um, hundred and ten. Yeah. Is the most you can get. Uh oh. I'm not doing so well, good. Well, I mean, here. like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't replay just. <laughs> Whoops. Like, obviously, games I love, I'll replay. But like, certain games that require, like, that you know, just only require one playthrough, that you're not going to play it over again, most likely. It's like, yeah, I'll play it on hard because I want to get the full kind of experience out of it. All right, so you guys can be honest, since uh, I'm a little biased towards this game, because after X7, it really washed the bad taste out of my mouth. But from an outsider perspective, how does it look in comparison to 7? Uh, it looks It looks better. a heck of a lot better. Yeah, it looks better graphically. Um, it, like, I can't, honestly, I can't tell if I love or hate the art right now. It's uh, like, it, it grows on you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The it's hair weird. bothers me. I still kind of like the uh, traditional SNES style graphics better, but... Uh, no, I agree. It's definitely... But I think it's, it's a big improvement over the last one, at least. Yeah. Here we go. And I, I know it's hard to for me to just tell you this, but gameplay-wise, it sure feels a lot better. Uh, I'm not surprised. Like, yeah. <laughs> it looks like there's a lot going on. Yeah, I, I don't I see you going down a 3D hallway, so... <laughs> no 3D hallways, thank you. <laughs>
Oh, you want to know the best part about Act 7? There are three vehicle levels. Ah. Oh. Why? <laughs> that just sounds painful and not fun for anybody. I, I do not know what they were thinking, except that, hey, we've never really tried to do this series in, in 3D. Let's do it. Because <laughs> Mega Man did have a 3D entry back in, in the age when everyone was trying to do 3D platformers. They had Mega Man Legends, which is fine. Here we go. This is a character I know how to play. I think the only game I had to replay... Well, mostly to get the difficulties and just keep replaying it was the Devil May Cry series. I always loved, like, replaying them. Well, you kind of had to, but I don't like the hard difficulties, but it was just great to, like, keep going and going until you get to the difficulty where you just die in one shot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I got to do that. But what do you... I've never played Devil May Cry. What are your thoughts on Bayonetta? Because I was like, that was plenty difficult for me. Bayonetta is great. I it's love a great game. I love Bayonetta. Yeah. I love Devil May Cry. I cannot wait for new Devil May Cry. Same. Um, I'm a little sad that, um... Double attack? Wait, how do I do a double attack? That they brought back old school Dante. Even though I love old school Dante, I liked what they did in, um, Devil May Cry. Um, Thank you. And... Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I like what they did with that. I like that, uh, the devil, tri the devil trigger was changed his hair. I like that he was going through some things. I like that there was... Like some actual consequences of being a Nephilim. Also, this, this yes, boss does that's not look it. Very happy. Like, like that scene when he's like, I, just, I just looked into my heart and he's literally like, okay, it's a little bit too much on the nose, a little too emo for my taste, but whatever, dude, I'll take it. Like, I love the gameplay in that game. I'll give it that, but the story I wasn't a big fan of because I just compared it too much to the original Devil May Cry, and I, I just like the story a lot better. Than that. I, I, wait, what? Even the what? Because I, I don't know how I feel about Nero coming back. I didn't feel I wasn't feeling Nero too much. Uh, I, I thought Nero was a pretty great character. To be honest, like, he, like it. A lot of people gave him, you know, didn't like him because he was the forefront of uh, DMC Four, but. He was a good character. There's nothing wrong. With it, him. There was nothing wrong with him. They just like he just didn't have the charisma that they were like they try they. They tried to do New Dante, and New Dante didn't work, and it was just like, oh, for Nero. <laughs> well, I mean, Dante, oh, well, Nero looks a lot more, to, to your point, Do, uh, Nero looks a lot more charismatic. Yeah, know, yes, but, it, but, it, but that's the point. It's like, oh, well, we've got we've to gotta make New Dante work. Like, come on. Just, it's definitely a lot edgier in DMC4. It's just like, but I can understand. I, like I can understand... Nero's attitude in um, DMC4, like, okay, like, you're in this religious group, you have a literal devil arm, <laughs> and folks, folks feel some type of way about you. Like, I can understand, like, all right, you got a bit of a stick up your butt. I can understand that. That makes sense. You, like... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I promise I'm listening. I, it's all no, you got, you got, you got. Somebody's got to play this game, <laughs> and it's definitely not going to be me. <laughs> I, don't know, I think you guys are doing just fine. Like, this, this nope, does, it's been look, too uh, trivially easy. <laughs> this is the first level, by the way. This I, game's I, I, do not I, mess yeah, around. I'll, I'll, I'll get wrecked if I play this game. I'm never. All right, I'm all for hard games, but uh, the stream needs to progress. <laughs> oh, oh shoot! I wanted that health. Don't oh, we well. all want that health? <laughs> I should be fine without it, right? I mean, who needs health for a boss? But yeah, I, I literally cried like, when they are liter was announced. Like, cried like a baby. I'm so happy that they're continuing. And it seems like it's taking place after DMC2 as well. I'll do a time which, check here. Yeah, and, uh, which... I'm, yeah, just about time to fight the boss. Like, right? I, I like New Dante, and I wanted to see what where um, New Dante was going to go, because, like, they definitely... Um, hinted that the next one you were going to see how Nello Angelo became Nello Angelo. So it was just like... Like, I... Yeah, I played the uh, Virgil DLC too, and that was pretty good. Like, I'll definitely... Um... Alright, I've been given the five-minute warning, so as much <laughs> as I would love to continue this... You can uh... do it! We believe in you! Oh, I know I can do it, but <laughs> it's important that I show you the, uh, the new feature of this game. So if you've played all these games already, you're not sure whether or not you want it, this might put you over the edge, it's called X-Challenge. Unfortunately, it is the same in both volumes, but what you do here is you fight two bosses from two of the different games at the same time. Oh. So it's the same thing, just this game's bosses. 
Uh, no, no, no. It's every... Oh, all, it's all, all the eight, bosses. All eight games, wow, two okay. bosses at once. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to skip past the intro here. Oh, I can't skip past the intro. They've reappeared and they're causing havoc. <laughs> havoc! License cannot be verified. Yeah, it, it does that from time to time. I think it just doesn't like that you're on another one, even though you are signed I'm on, it. I'm on my own account. I know. <laughs> it does it to me, too. All right, so this is cool. You get to pick three weapons. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Take with you. Take. So this is like a round based yeah. thing? Let me take. Do you get to re pick the weapons after every round? No, no. You take oh, you're stuck with That's them. it. You're yeah. stuck with them, okay. Wow, you get really gotta pick carefully, huh? Got rising fire. We're a new frost walrus here. So one of the coolest things about this this is how deep in the series I am. I think one of the coolest things about this whole game, just for this mode, they made a new set of armor for X, and you're about to see it. And I think it's one of the coolest sets of armor he's worn in the whole series. Ooh. You got 10 minutes to fight these bosses and three lives. And that's it. You gotta beat them. Nice to beat you. Whoop. I'm already kind of screwing this up, but that's alright. Oh, yeah. I forgot Frost Penguin made those stupid ice penguins. Yep. <laughs> yeah. As, as George and I have pointed out, it would be more accurate to call them Zero Shield Penguins. I love, I love the way the walrus looks. This is so funny. I am the walrus. Oh. All right. I think it's time to time to get serious. Let's try this rising fire weapon. Uh, I know Frost Walrus is not gonna like it much. So one very minor complaint I have is that I kind of wish they had redone the boss uh, weaknesses a bit because I feel like. If they're weak to one fire weapon, they ought to be weak to the other oh, as well. Yeah. But I guess that's asking a lot. <laughs> I don't expect them to change the original game in this guy. <laughs> no, uh, what, what's a remaster for anyway, right? Oh. Well, oh, come on. As you can see, these bosses are not messing around. And this is the first level out of uh, nine. So. Do you keep your health? Uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> no! Yikes. Yikes, buddy. So this is just for illustrative purposes, as you can see. Do you, oh, do you gain any health after the boss fights? Uh, not so far, but I also haven't completed the mode yet. So okay. this is definitely a, a challenge for the veterans among you. Woo! Woo! You might not even survive this, to be honest. But I believe, I believe I in believe you. I believe in you! Just out of principle now, I gotta do it. What? <laughs> I was kind of not taking it seriously, but yeah. I've got to. Yeah, you're uh, you're running over. You're running really low, but you just gotta... Not as low as they are. Yeah. You're, Wait, you're about get as low as they are. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Ooh! That could have gone better, admittedly. Uh, oh, you jerk! This is not looking good. I don't know, I still got this. You can this. kill one of them. Or is he dead yet? He, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone? Okay. Oh. All you gotta do is take care of Chill Penguin. Oh, I thought the walrus was the one that was still gonna be hanging out. Wow. All right. You're, you're like, Whoa. you're maybe like two shots. Beat it, uh, you demonic I, chili willy. I don't think I have two shots, but that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Whoa, this guy has a lot more HP than I remember. Alright, wow. Woo. So that's the first level. Yeah. Winning pose! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to see the winning pose. What does he do this time? Shoot, he catches his breath. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if he gain health. Nope. Doesn't look like oh it. Oh my god. Oh man, you you're poor man. Alright, I'm afraid that's all we got time for today. So that is the Mechanics <laughs> Legacy Collection. Nice. Just as tough as you remember oh, it. Man. We got a full review up on Tom's Guide. And we also have every Mega Man X game ranked which I'm sure everyone on the whole internet will agree with 100%. <laughs> All so, right. So tweet at me and let me know. No, don't do that. How, how right <laughs> I got it. <laughs> at me. Yes, at me. All right. So <laughs> with that said, I'm Sherelle Smith. I'm Marshall Onoroff. I'm Rami Tavari. We out. Bye. <laughs> uh -huh.